The newest update for Street Fighter 6 not only saw Ed join the playable roster, but we also got a balance patch addressing some of the cast. I'm Tyrant for Reversal, and this is our five biggest changes in the most recent patch for Street Fighter 6. Number five, reuse Hashigeki. Ryu's Hashigeki special move was a rarely seen attack that didn't really offer Ryu much in the way of mix-up or combo potential. Combined with the fact you need a Denjin charge anyway, players would normally spend this on a fireball instead of the enhanced Hashigeki. In this patch, however, every version has been improved, with the heavy version remaining plus on block and Ryu would point blank. The OD enhanced version as well is very strong, with increased damage, as well as keeping Ryu right next to the opponent, allowing for more mix-ups and pressure. With these improvements, we could be seeing this move a lot more from Ryu players. Number four, Jamie's drinks. Jamie players have been down bad since the release of the game, with one of the main reasons being that he needs to level up to use his full moveset. You get this through the weight of drinks. Capcom have added a new way for Jamie to get a drink from his forward throw if you hold the buttons down. This is huge and even keeps him plus in the corner. Also, once the effect of his level two wears off, Jamie will revert back to the original drink level he was when he activated the level two, before he would just go down to level one and you'd have to start all over again. This is another big improvement. The damage on his level one super has also been improved and now it has less pushback when in the corner while maintaining plus frames. This is huge for Jamie as it allows him to keep the pressure on and keep those drink levels stacked up. Number three, Luke crouching medium punch. Everybody knew this was one of the most annoying and strong normals in the entire game. And if you watched Capcom Cup, I'm sure you can tell why. Before Luke could just throw this button out seemingly for free without much risk, buffering it into a drive rush or a safe special perhaps. Capcom have not only increased the recovery of the button, allowing Luke to have a little bit of cooldown once he throws this out, the hurt box has also been increased. This is huge and allows Luke to actually have a bit more of a risk when he throws his button out and requires a little bit more thought when using this button. Number two, JP's Amnesia. Now this move has been a hot topic since release and is in the discussion for one of the strongest fighting game moves of all time, especially the OD version. A frame one counter that beats not only strikes but throws as well, this move does it all. Rather than nerfing this move to the ground and removing those properties, however, Capcom has just added increased scaling, up from just 15% to a whopping 60% damage scaling. That's huge. It's extremely noticeable when you see his amnesia combos now. They just do way less damage in comparison to what they were doing before. He also can't build super art gauge until the bombs detonate, which is also a big nerf. Not only that, if you successfully parry the bombs, you get a huge chunk of drive gauge back, really making JP think twice about throwing this move out nonstop. And number one, JP crouching heavy punch. As the character that was hit the hardest by this patch, we have to have JP in the top two. The Amnesia nerf seemed pretty big, but his crouching heavy punch nerf is probably going to hurt him a lot more in the long run. Capcom have straight up removed his invincibility to mid-air attacks on this move, and that is gonna be a huge blow to this character. It might even be overkill. Jumping in on him is going to be a lot easier now, and he's gonna to have to time it a lot earlier, because if he doesn't, he's just gonna trade or lose on jump-ins almost every time. Well, we can't say that Capcom didn't hear our complaints about this character. Well, there you have it, guys. That's our top five biggest changes in the latest Street Fighter 6 patch. But what do you think? Did we leave something out? Let us know in the comments below, and we'll see you in the next video.